the Cherokee Nation is challenging a 150-year-old law tied to blood quantum for tribal citizenship, seeking to include families of former enslaved people. Congress enacted this law in 1885, linking Cherokee Nation membership solely to Indian blood. Today, Cherokee Nation Principal Chief Chuck Hoskin Jr. advocates for amending this outdated law to reflect contemporary realities. Before 1863, thousands of enslaved people lived in the Cherokee Nation, emancipated by an act of the nation. However, current laws unjustly exclude Cherokee citizens of freedmen descent from tribal membership. This creates legal complexities, as Native Americans cannot be tried in state courts, but black Cherokee citizens face prosecution due to the blood quantum requirement. While the Cherokee Nation recognizes freedmen as citizens, other tribes hesitate to do so. This issue intertwines with sovereignty agreements between Indian nations and the US government. Tulsa attorney Brett Chapman emphasizes the importance of tribal sovereignty in resolving this matter. Including freedmen in tribal citizenship ensures fair treatment within tribal courts. The Cherokee Nation has removed anti-black language from its constitution and allowed freedmen to hold public office, showcasing their commitment to inclusivity. Nonetheless, recognizing freedmen as legitimate tribal members remains essential for justice and inclusivity.